he accidentally um, was stuck with a needle and ended up contracting hepatitis C. Needle stick injuries. On average, four or more Eureka police employees a year suffer from being stuck by a hypodermic syringe. Two Eureka officers have already been stuck this year alone. The White House turned blue for National Police Week. Flags flown at half staff to honor our fallen officers. It's also a time for the public to recognize law enforcement for the perilous duties they perform. And tonight in my exclusive report, I meet with Eureka police to explore one of the mounting dangers officers face in the line of duty, needles. I worry constantly about our officers being exposed through a needle stick. It was a bright afternoon when I took a walk with police through Eureka. This is a beautiful park. The sun shining, water glistening, and police just doing their day-to-day -day duties. I mean, syringe litter, so obviously you can see the cap there. Within the Eureka Police Department, we're always happy to help folks who need assistance picking up needles. These officers sworn to protect and serve. And now, the new nuisance? Needles. 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 Watch out for needles. Nasty needles. And it was here at the Eureka Library where we came across trash drug paraphernalia, and in the bushes behind a wall smeared with human feces, this needle. How serious of an issue is this for our local law enforcement officers? It's a very real concern from an officer safety standpoint and a public safety and health standpoint. This discarded needle found right next to a park where kids play. This needle right here could have impaled a dog. We're just on the edge of the children's wing of the library, so it's not inconceivable. Children could be here, and uh, I don't think there's anyone who has been through being stuck by a needle, especially one that's not their own. Um, that, that doesn't somehow color how you view needles within the community. EPD Ranger Dennis Gagnon is part of the community safety enhancement team. He knows all too well the dangers of needles. So you were stuck how long ago? I was stuck. Uh, it was fairly recently. It happened while searching a suspect. Uh, we find open syringes on people's pockets. It's something EPD Sergeant Leonard LaFrance says cops see regularly. And so when we search people, if we're arresting them, that causes a lot of exposure for us. And with more exposure comes more risk of needle stick injury. Have there been any recently that have happened? Well, we've had two this year that I'm aware of uh, and a, a good dozen uh, accidental needle sticks since 2015. In Ranger Gagnon's case, it went through his glove into his hand. He was rushed to the emergency room. Had a uh, had a blood draw done and then they'll monitor me over the next year for potential bloodborne pathogen exposure. Or I feel a little bit like a victim. If I was if I was in the park and somebody punched me in the face, I'd have some recourse. But here I got stuck by a needle and there's really no recourse for me. And I I think we as citizens maybe feel a little victimized when something happens to us that was not uh, at all our fault. And then you go, I, there's nothing I can do about this. And he isn't the only one. Another EPD officer getting stuck, and that time, it was infectious. I know of at least one case where an officer contracted disease, uh, in that particular case, hepatitis C. Unfortunately, the, the officer went through uh, medical treatment and has been completely cured, but it was a very frightening and stressful situation for him and his family. You know, the challenge is that you, uh, it affects your work, your mindset at work. It affects uh, primary relationships that you may have. And people often they forget about that. But yeah, it's a one in a million chance it happens to you, but still, you could be that one in a million. It's a serious, significant, and frankly, scary issue that they face here in Humboldt. And I checked, thankfully, though, Ranger Gagnon says the tests have come back all clear so far.